Okay, I can't be more excited to say that this is my very first Let's Play, and it's going to be Pokemon Glazed. This particular game was talked about a lot, and I figured that if I'm going to do a Let's Play, I might as well start it out with the one that's being talked about the most as far as what I've been hearing. So let's get into this. New game, just like always. Same old kind of intro, like you're all used to. Huh. Hello, welcome to the Tunod, Tunod region. Okay, Tunod. It's donut backwards. <laughs> My name is Professor Willow, but most people just call me the Pokemon Professor. Okay, that's cool. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates and at times as cooperative workmates and sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel mysteries, Pokemon mysteries, I have been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are. Are you a boy or are you a girl? I'm a boy. Sprite looks pretty cool. Alright, what's your name? My name is Jared with an O, so. Yep. Gonna type in my name here. Like this. Cool. So it's Jared. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. So you must be the Jared I've heard so much about, right? Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Okay. Well, this is pretty cool. We're not starting out in a house yet. What are you doing in a place like this? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I wasn't expecting anyone to come. I'll take you back this once and I can explain the best I can, okay? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Don't be scared. I'll make sure to get you back over safely, but the trip isn't fun at all. This is the place, right? Jared. Oh, me. This is. But how? I'll explain later. Somehow you managed to slip from your universe to mine from here. And it's a good thing you appeared so close to me, or there'd be big trouble. Now that you've been there, there's nothing to stop you from slipping through again, so be careful and erg. I'm sorry, I have to go. I'll try to explain later. Bye. Oh, okay, well, I guess there's some dimension slipping. But let's check this place out. We got the, the bed right there, you know, standard. Um, computer, does it work? No, it doesn't work. Alright, let's go outside. Oh, that's cool. We have our own little, like, apartment thingy. Well, that's, that's awesome. So, let's continue. Mom. It looks like you have a mom and dad for once. Mom. Jared, good to see you up and about. Your dad and I were just about to go to the store in Chaco Town. Hmm. To get a few things. Mom. Oh, I almost forgot. Professor Willow called earlier and asked that you come by his lab today. You better head over right away. It's bad manners to leave someone waiting. Mom, I love you. Make sure you stay safe. Okay. Well, first off, let me talk to a couple of these people because you never know what you can find in hacks by talking to people. It's a pretty cool statue. That's the Johto starters. Oh, wait, what did he say? I think he just said that um, you can choose between five instead of three. Oh yeah, look. He did. Okay. Well. Let's see. I guess this is it. Oh yeah. Alright, cool. He looks like Professor Birch with gray hair. <laughs> Get worried about you would show up. Willow, I believe you just got your trainer's license. I believe you just got your trainer's license yesterday. Wow, I messed that up. So I'm here to give you your very own Pokemon companion. Awesome. This machine has five Pokeballs in it. Pick whichever you want. 
Make sure you choose carefully. This will be your new best friend after all. Okay. Which starter will you choose? Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, Shinx, Rylou. Rylou. Um. Hmm. I think... I, I don't know. This is a hard choice. I'm probably going to go with Shinx, though, because it has Intimidate, and that's really good to have at the beginning. So, yeah, Shinx. Would you like to give a nickname to Shinx? Yeah, sure. I'm going to name him... Let's see... Alright, well since it has, since it's in the name already, I'm gonna name him Shin, which was the alias of um, the Supreme Kai in Dragon Ball Z. So, since it's in his name already, that's what I'm gonna name him. Shin. You always had a special fondness for Shinx. Yeah, right, you probably say that to every Pokemon that I would have chosen. I'd usually give you a Pokedex, but I just gave my last one out a few days ago, and I haven't received any more. I have a friend called the Inventor who lives in Chaco Town. I believe he has a spare Pokedex or two. Would you mind seeing him? If your Pokemon are feeling weak, feel free to talk to the aide near the healing machine. Safe travels, Jared. Okay. So, should I check in with the mom right now and see if she needs me to, like, talk to her? Oh, wait, no, she left. I just remembered that to the store in Chaco Town. So, we're good. Oh, we're stopped by an old man. Seems like there's quite a ruckus down in this town, or in this route. My eyes weren't what they, they once was, unfortunately, so... I can't really tell for sure, but I thought you should give you a, I thought I should give you a heads up. Wow, I cannot talk for my first video. This is sad. <laughs> Dad, go on. Shoo, let us pass. Oh, it's a Pikachu. Pikachu, Pika P Jared, hey Pikachu, quit harassing my parents and let them through. Pikachu. Pika Pika, it's attacking. Yep. Ooh, it has its own little intro. That's pretty cool. That's got a scarf on. That's awesome. Wow. Level two. All right, cool. Tackle it. Ooh, critical hit. Oh, thunder shock. Not very effective. Haha. Uh -huh. I guess I picked a good one. Ooh, XP. Pikachu. Pika Pik. Okay, you know what it is. Mom, Jared, that was fantastic. You're an amazing battler. Oh, well, thank you, Mom. I had a feeling Professor Willow would have be giving you a Pokemon, so me and your father got you some presents for your journey. Here you go, this is my gift. The running shoes. They fit like a glove. That was the best pair of running shoes I could find. I hope you like them. If you want to run, just hold down the B button. They're great for speedy travel. Your dad has a gift for you as well. I'm not that good at getting gifts, but I thought you could use one of these. It's very useful. EXP share. Wow. Already. That's awesome. I also got some new batteries for your clock. Do you have the time? Uh... Yes, I'm just going to put it as this. Alright. Thanks. We better head home now before the crazy Pikachu comes back. Now that you have your own Pokemon, why not challenge the gym leaders of Toonod? That's just a thought, but having a goal while traveling makes the journey that much more exciting. Dad, if I remember correctly, there's a gym in Ocean View City. Safe travels. Okay. Let's go. Coming through. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Hey, you there. I heard there was a Pikachu around here. Have you seen it? Yeah, I just scared it off. 
What Grumble? In that case, who are you? My name is Jared. Well, my name is Percy, and this is my partner Cyndaquil. Since we missed the Pikachu, how about we battle instead? What do you say? Cyndaquil seems really happy about that, <laughs> so I guess we're gonna battle. We're both fired up. Let's battle. Alright. I want a Cyndaquil. Maybe we'll get one later on in the game. Who knows? Oh, I'm just gonna attack him. Oh, send it close faster. But I'm stronger. Hmm. Who would have thought? Ooh. Oh. Yay, we won. Dun -dun -dun. Grew to level 6. Awesome. Oh, almost level 7, why not? Dang it! <laughs> that would have been awesome. Holy smokes! Jared got 200 for winning. Percy, Yowzers, you're tough. You'll definitely be a worthy rival for me. Since that Pikachu's gone, I'll head over to Ocean View. See you around, Jared. That was pretty cool, I guess. Walking through the grass, walking through the grass, walking through the grass. <laughs> Guess we'll just hop right here. Looks like we make it to the first town already. You got something to say? Welcome to Chaco Town. Thank you. Can I heal up? Oh look, the Pokemon Center looks freaking sweet. Let's see what it looks like upstairs. That's awesome. Um. Let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot I had the running shoes. Oh, he runs really weird. <laughs> okay. Can I... Well, I don't even know where to go right now. Oh, grunts. Hmm. Looks like I have to find... Nope. This isn't the right way. I'm in Chaco Town, so I know I'm in the right place. I just don't know where exactly to go. I can't remember. Oh, hold on. Let's just say. General, oh, General Store. I was already in there. Okay. The Inventor's House. Oh, yeah, that's it. Sweet. Oh, he's not even here. What the... Where could he be? Is he in here? Oh, maybe this is him. Oh, yep, the inventor. Here we go. Don't disturb me while I'm working. Inventor. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were one of my pestering aides. You'll be Jared, correct? Professor Willow sent me on an email a short while ago, and I have your Pokedex. Here you go. Yay. Pokedex. Inventor, here, take these as well. It's a sort of a gift to help you fill out your Pokedex's entries. Obtain the Pokeballs. Cool. Inventor, Jared, do you mind if I ask a huge favor? There are some wonderful ruins in the Milkshake Swamp. It's a weird name. That I'd like to observe, but I'd feel much, much safer with an escort. Would you mind coming with me? Sure. The entrance is to the swamp is to the north of the town. I'll be seeing you soon, I hope. Maybe it's where those grunts were. Or whatever they are. They look like grunts. Oh, yep. Nobody enters the swamp. Go do something else instead. Still preying on innocent travelers. Travelers Team Fusion? Oh, okay. It is a grunt then. I never thought you would stoop this low. I've already run off the rest of your gang in the swamp already, so you have no reason to stay here. Of course, if you have any need to protest, my dark eye is itching for battle. Wow, he has a dark eye. Grunts. Foo 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 foo. It looks like F U F U F U. Like, you know. Our objectives here are complete. We'll be taking our leave now. Did those grunts harm you? No, thank goodness. I'm sorry. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Blake, and I'm a member of the Tuna Delete 4. I've taken it upon myself to protect travelers such as you at any expense. Blake, just out of curiosity, why are you both going in a milkshake swamp? It's not, not exactly the most fun place to be. 
Inventor, I was curious about the swamp of the about some of the ruins in the swamp. Jared was going to escort me in any case. Wild Pokemon attack. I don't have any Pokemon, you see. Team Fusion, those men preventing you from entering the swamp were poking around those same ruins. Allow me to escort you there myself. I'm sure I've frightened them all off. I'm sure Jared wouldn't want to be hanging around with two adults anyway. You've just begun as a trainer. Continue to keep striving for your dreams and rest assured they'll come true. One day, we may even battle. Come on, inventor. Scientific exploration awaits. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end this video right here, so thank you for watching this if you are watching it right now, and part two will be coming soon-ish. <laughs> okay, well, like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Peace out.